Good morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures if you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you've come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the past 32 years, of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls at 844-236-6010. If you have uh, questions about our true skin health products, our longevity products, ingredients, or formulations, or if you just want to uh, share a success story, or if you have a comment about anything we're speaking about here today, we love talking to you. It makes the show much more interesting when it's a dialogue than when it's just me pontificating, although I like to pontificate sometimes. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase your longevity products, go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, criticalhealthnews.com. We've got news stories, blog posts, and a join the team now link that you can click on as well if you want to join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can be in business for yourself. If you're an entrepreneur, it's a great business, a great business opportunity. And if you're into nutrition, it's a great business opportunity. If you just want a little spare income, a little side income, it's a great business opportunity. And even if you want to just get your products at the wholesale price for a one-time $25 fee, you can become a distributor. Call 866-735-2470 for more information or click on the Join the Team link at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Okay, welcome back to the bright side. We've been spending a lot of time talking about um, what some might call woo-woo or or airy-fairy. I just call it the basic and fundamental um, pers- uh, aspects of health and wellness and biology. The basic and fundamental levels of biology are inherently woo-woo because they're about energy. And I know I risk sounding airy-fairy every time I start talking about this, but you know what? That's just the facts. At the most fundamental levels, we're woo-woo, we're energy. That's what woo-woo is, it's just energy. And I think if we're gonna be truly healthy, we gotta know how to work on all levels, not just the physical level. If we're gonna be truly healthy, we gotta work at the physical level, the energy level, the electrical level, the mental level, the emotional level, and yes, even ultimately at the spiritual level. And I personally believe, after working with patients now for, 30 plus years, I personally believe that there's always a spiritual crisis behind all seemingly physical distress. That's my personal belief. I don't know if I could prove it, but uh, if it's you, if you're in physical distress, and by spiritual, by the way, I mean a sense of disconnection from the universe, a disconnection from, you can say God if you're religious, or disconnection from the universe if you're not religious, a disconnection, feeling marooned, and that automatically activates the parasympathetic nervous system. As soon as we feel disconnected from the universe, boom, we go into sympathetic nervous system functioning. And that's really, that's the interface between the invisible and the visible, the, the autonomic nervous system, the parasympathetic and the sympathetic. We talk about that all the time. I don't know why more people aren't talking about it because that's really the key to understanding disease, activation of the fear response. And that's why mental and emotional are so, imp- are so important because that's where the fear response is activated. So lately I've been getting into the electrical stuff, that stuff. 
just blows me away. And the quantum stuff. Quantum is just pieces of electricity. So when I talk about quantum, don't automatically tune out because it's just little pieces of electricity and everything's electricity. The best way to understand uh, this whole idea about the quantum aspects of reality, that's really what we're talking about, how the quantum affects the ma- how the tiniest of tinies, the quantum world is trillions and trillions and trillions, many, many trillions of times smaller than um, than uh, the world we see with our eyes. And uh, the key to understanding the relationship between the quantum world and the macro world, it seems like it's kind of airy-fairy, but it's not. It's the difference between electrons and electricity. Electricity is the macroscopic version of electrons. So when we say quantum, all we're talking about is pieces, tiny little pieces of electricity. So anyway, living cells are healthy when they got lots of these little electrons. The electrons make make the cells healthy. That's pretty much a simple. Uh, that's simplifying the quantum nature of biology, pretty much as much as as much as you can get. I think there may be a simpler way of doing it, but it's basically cells that are sick are not as electron rich. Cells that are healthy have more electron energy. That makes them more negative. Electrons being having a negative charge. That's a little too much information, maybe, but. The, the point is, is that a cell is like a little battery and it has more energy potential. They call That's exactly what it's called, potential energy. It has more energy potential when it's got electricity. And that electricity it comes in the form of little pieces of electricity, i.e. electrons. That's called quantum biology, by the way. And it's like the latest and greatest uh, um, aspect or school of understanding how biology works, quantum biology. They used to say that the body is, because the body is so wet, it was really hard to understand how quantum biology could take place. It was too flowing. It wasn't really a solid thing, the body. Now they have a thing called wetware. They say the body is wetware. Like, that's the latest engineering, biological engineering term for the body. It's wetware because it is like a computer. It channels electrical energy like a computer. A computer works by channeling electrical energies through various patterns. That's what a computer chip is. If you look at a computer chip, it's got all these little patterns on it. All those patterns are just ways of channeling electrical energy, electrons specifically. Body does exactly the same thing in a mind-blowing way as a computer chip. But not just any computer chip. The cells are computer chip. The tissues are computer chips. The organs are computer chips. Computer chip is nothing more than a, a, a little device that creates or stores or channels information by directing electrons along pathways. And guess what? That's what the body does. The entire body is one big computer chip. And the wiring is all accomplished via nutrients. What we call nutrients, actually, I shouldn't say that. What we call nutrients, food, that is, are sources of electrical energy. The body can make a bunch of stuff. But the raw materials, the sources for all that is food. That's why you want to eat electron rich, but not just eating electron rich. You also want to eat, uh, uh, there are nutrients, those little wire, those little lines in a computer chip, those little, uh, I don't even know what, know what they call them, but if you look at them, there's these little lines on a computer chip. In the body, it's the vitamins that act like the little lines, and it's the minerals that act like the little lines on a computer chip. The vitamins and the minerals guide the electrons in the body the way the lines on a computer chip guide the electrons on the chip. That's the function of the vitamins and the minerals, the micronutrients. If the whole body's a computer chip, the micronutrients are those little lines. I've got to figure out what those lines are called on a computer chip, but I think you all know what I'm talking about. The electrons themselves, those come in through the proteins and the fats and the carbohydrates. The proteins and the fats and the carbohydrates supply the electrons, and the vitamins and the minerals are those little lines, and the whole thing creates, just like a computer chip does, it creates information. It takes energy and puts it into a shape, into a form. That's what information is. It takes energy and takes it into a form. And it all happens through a combination of vitamins and minerals, i.e. micronutrients and... Also, certain to, to a certain extent, uh, phytonutrients, I should say, and then uh, proteins, fats, and carbohydrates, and that's why you want to eat electron-rich and vitamin-rich and mineral-rich and phytonutrient-rich, and that's also why supplements are so valuable. All right, eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. We'll be back on the bright side right after this.
are back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben, and thank you for listening and thank you for being here. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time. And 24-7 on our archive pages or archive page at brightsideben.com. Also, you can purchase longevity products at brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. And you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the websites as well. And don't forget to check out our Truth Skin Health products. Got new products coming out. Uh, in the last month, we've had three or four additions to our Truth family of products. Got new supplements, a mineral supplement, uh, as well as our uh, Energizing Exfoliator and our Hyaluronic Hydrator. And there's about 10, I think there's about 14 products now in our Truth family of products, our Truth Treatments at truthtreatments.com. You, we also have a, a skincare blog up as well, and we have free shipping for the near future. For the foreseeable future, we have free shipping at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so we're talking about, oh, we got a call during the break from a gentleman who said, and our number, by the way, 844-236-6010. We got lines open at 844-236-6010. Um, we got a call in, during the break. So a gentleman said that uh, those lines on a computer chip are called traces. Uh, and there, uh, before we went to our break, we were saying how vitamins and minerals function as those lines. Those lines are actually technically transistors. They don't resist, they sort of resist. A transistor is a resistor that sort of resists but doesn't totally resist. It channels, it guides, it directs energy flow. A resistor blocks energy flow. A transistor is like a semi-blocker. They actually call it a semi-conductor because it allows electricity to flow just in the perfect direction. That's what a vitamin is, a vitamin and a mineral and trace nutrients, these phytonutrients that are bioflavonoids and carotenes, these are transistors. They're semiconductors. They allow energy to flow in a certain direction, and that's why they're so important. And that's why you get so many benefits by supplementing. You're eating transistors for your computer chip body. It's kind of cool when you think about it that way. We are, we're just like computer chips, except we're biological computer chips, and we have the same kind of, the same kind of um, terminology and the same kind of miniature structures that are involved in electronics are involved in the body. The body's got resistors, it's got transistors, it's got semiconductors, it's got L liquid crystal displays, yes, LCDs, cell membranes are LCDs. I mean, it's, it's an electrical phenomenon. When we're sick, we're sick electrically. That's the bottom line, folks. When we're sick, we're sick electrically. When a cell is sick, it's sick electrically. And by restoring the electrical charges to cells, the electrical potentials, the electrical energy to cells, they become healthier. If you can take a cell and you can drive in electrical energy into that cell in a controlled fashion, that cell will go from sick to healthy. That's how cells heal themselves. They become more uh, va vacuum cleaner like it sounds like a little electrical energy vacuum cleaner it sucks up energy and when it's sick it wants more that's why the sicker we are the faster we turn it around the more deficient we are the faster our bodies uh, recover is because under deficiency states and in sick states our cells become more receptive to energy and semiconductors and uh, transistors I should say which are the vitamins and the minerals hope this is not too in the weeds because this is really where our power resides. You, when you can understand things at that level, you become much more powerful. That's called leverage, by the way. So food is the best way to get your electrons. And food is the best way to get your uh, uh, transistors, your electrical energy and your transistors. You want to eat whole foods. Carbs have the most, uh, I shouldn't say the most, they have the easiest uh, for the body to handle electrical energy. So we became carb junkies at a very early age in our evolutionary biology, that is. We're the descendants of ancestors who were very, very carb-centric. They loved the carbs because they were e it was easy to get energy from them. It was easy to get electricity from carbs. Carbs are made to give electricity. They're so easy from the biochemistry of the body to get electricity from carbs relative to proteins and fats. That's why we love carbs so much. Our, all of our hard wiring is designed to go get the carbs, period. And manufacturers know this good and well. Food manufacturing is largely about dispensing more purified um, sources of carbs. That's what food processing is. That's why the food industry is this, is this trillion dollar behemoth, if that's the right word. 
this Leviathan. The food industry is the most, inc it's like water to a fish. We don't even notice it, the food industry. But look at all the different ways we interact with the food industry. I'm not talking about agriculture either. I'm talking about boxes. I'm talking about Nabisco. And I'm talking about Keebler. I'm talking about Nestle. I'm talking about all the packaged foods. Look at how we interact with these packaged foods. And most of them are highly packed with carbohydrates. There's probably a small percentage, you know, like the meats and stuff, the prepared meats. But even the, even the meats are carbohydrates because the animals are eating the carbohydrates. So the carbs are everywhere. And many of our diseases, in fact, most of our diseases are related to the fact that we're eating so many of these things, so much of these things. And they're so easy for the body to get. You know, from an evolutionary standpoint, they weren't around. Now they're everywhere. It wasn't a problem when they were easy to get. It was easy to get energy from carbs, you know, when we didn't have carbs 10,000 years ago or, or more. But today we got carbs everywhere. The best way to get, get off the carbs, if you understand the, this is why understanding electricity is so important. Think about it. You're trying to get electrical energy, so you eat the carbs. But if you ate fat with the transistors, your body would have, be able to use the energy more effectively. You'd be able to extract and use the energy more effectively, and you wouldn't eat as many carbs. That's called the ketogenic diet. Fats are really the way you want to get your electrical energy and proteins, by the way. Not all proteins, but a lot of them, not all amino acids, I should say, but a lot of the amino acids are glucogenic. They get, can be used for energy. That's where you want to get your energy from. You want to get your energy from fats, from proteins, and micronutrients, and smatterings of carbs because there are some good things in vegetables for sure. And so you do want to get some carbs in there. And you, you, know, you don't want to go carb zero carb, but you want to cut it way down. And you always want to, when you're weaning yourself off your carbs, give yourself the semiconductors, the transistors, the vitamins, the minerals. It'll help your body utilize and get more bang for the buck, for the energy buck. They go together. And then there's the, the electrolytes. Those are super cool. The electrolytes, as the name implies, are electrically charged. They carry, elect vitamins carry electricity and minerals carry electricity, but the electrolytes carry electricity in a, a much, uh, in a different way, we'll say. They just carry electrical energy as is. The body uses the electrolytes as is. It doesn't, it's not like the vitamins that are, that are playing a, a hot potato with the electrical energy. The vitamins are passing their electrical energy around. The minerals are passing, the non-electrolyte minerals are passing their energy around. The electrolytes are being used as is. They're not passing around. They're going right to work. That makes them important for energy. They are almost, they're about as pure a source of energy as you can get, the electrolytes. And they especially, electrolytes especially relate to water. And there's an, a very important relationship between electrolytes and water. In fact, fluid balance in the body is about the electrolytes. When your electrolytes are off, your fluid balance is going to be off. That's when you get edema. That's when your body swells or becomes dehydrated if you don't have enough electrolytes. Electrolytes pull water in. It's very interesting chemistry behind that. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open. We'll be back on the bright side right after this. Right side, I am Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for being here. Our number today, 844-236-6010, and we have uh, no calls. So if you've tried to get in on the pat in the pat tried to get in in the past and uh, got the busy signal, now's the time to give us a call at uh, 844-236-6010. If you have questions, comments, success stories uh, you'd like to share. We love hearing from you. 844-236-6010 is our number. And we will get, if we have calls, we'll get your calls here in just a moment. I want to uh, read a couple stories here that I think are interesting. This one, this one got my attention from the International Journal of Obstetrics. Vegetable and fish diet linked to reduced risk of high blood pressure in pregnancy. Pregnancy is a very stressful time on the, in, a, in a woman's life, and it's very stressful on the body. It's really stressful. It's pretty much the hardest thing a human being is going to be doing is having pregnant, getting pregnant and delivering a baby. I, you know, healthy thing, I should say. And there's disease states that are harder, obviously. In any case, high blood pressure is a sign of a body in duress. The heart's working hard. So anything you can do to calm the body down is going to support 
uh, normal, hyper, normal blood pressure will reduce high blood pressure, reduce hypertension. Vegetables and fish are very, very supportive, particularly vegetables. Fish too, fish as well, but not like vegetables. Vegetables contain nitrogen. Nitrogen is used by the body to make its most powerful vasodilator blood vessel opening upper. Nitric oxide, you probably heard of nitric oxide. Nitric oxide was famously molecule of the year a couple years ago. Nitric oxide is, uh, very, is the, one of the body's most powerful neurotransmitters. Or, uh, uh, it's a gas hormone. It's really cool, actually, when you think about it. It's a gas that acts like a chemical. Nitric oxide is a gas, but it acts chemically to turn things on and off. It's, it's particularly involved in opening up things, especially blood vessels. So veggies, 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 veggies. Can't get enough veggies. That should form the bulk of our diet. If you have high blood pressure, veggies also provide you with fiber to mop up sugar. And one of the reasons why blood pressure goes up is because our blood sugar goes up. Hypertension and dysglycemia go hand in hand. You notice I said dysglycemia. I didn't say diabetes. Diabetes is a diagnosis. It's not a description of what's happening in your body. Diabetes is a name. It's a verb. It's a noun. I'm sorry. It's a noun. It's not a verb. A verb is an action. Diabetes-ing would be more accurate, and diabetes-ing is called dysglycemia. It's when your blood sugar is messed up. And if you have high blood pressure, you can rest assured, diabetes or not, oh, doctor said I don't have diabetes, diabetes diagnosis or not, you definitely got some blood sugar issues. We all do. That's the whole carb thing that we just talked about. We all pretty much do. Now, I don't want to say everybody because obviously people are super healthy, but for most of us, we're going to have carb issues, especially as we get older. Dysglycemia, uh, it's not necessarily diabetes. Dysglycemia and hypertension, high blood pressure go hand in hand. Doctors call it essential hypertension because they can't figure out what causes it. Well, it's caused by a lot of things, but basically it's duress. Blood sugar duress, oxygen duress, fat duress, psychological duress, hypertension is duress. As all health challenges are going to have an element of duress. So all the strategies for staying healthy involve calming the body down through nutrition, through, uh, through understanding the electrical aspects of the body, in, in the electrical aspects of food especially, and breathing, and mental and emotional and spiritual strategies as well. All right. Now we got a bunch of calls here. So uh, we'll hit the phones. 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Tina in Louisiana. What's going on, Tina? How you doing? Hi, I'm doing well, and thank you for taking my call. Thanks for calling. My heart's kind of racing because I'm not normally the one that does this kind of stuff. Okay, no worries. Okay. I, um, first of all, I have spoken with you before regarding okay. the treatments. Um, oh, okay. Are you I using? I'm using and loving. What but are you using? More, which which, I which am one are you using? The retinol gel, the 5%, the C balm, the C serum, the oh, wow. biomimetic mist. Oh, my goodness. And I just ordered the exfoliator, and I'm also using the peppermint salicylic acid. Oh, my gosh. You're a real truther. Thank you, Tina. I I appreciate that. I love it. And and when I tell you what I'm calling for, like the nutritional thing, you'll see why. Okay. Okay. Let me me ask you one question. Let me just ask you one question real quick. Uh, What did you notice with the retinol gel? Had had it take you a while to figure it out, or did you know what to do? Um, Well, the the only first, the first time I used it, I peeled like crazy. And since then, very, very little peeling. But your skin must Um, be glowing then. It, it is. To... It's absolutely glowing. I'm not sure if it's that or the sea balm or just. It's all the, of it. Yeah, it's all of it. You know, the BTT or whatever. But and that's all, all of it. It's all work. of it. Yeah. What's how? Uh, last question. How often are you using the Truth Retinol Five Percent Gel? Um, I'm using it once a week now, um, and I will have myself a little calendar note. I think I'm going to try to bump it up to twice a week and see what happens. Then. Blend it with the Omega Six Healing Cream. Blend the two together. Have see what that happens. Too. I have that. Yeah, blend them together in your hand, omega-6 and retinol. Okay, blend the retinol. Blend, okay, yeah. And then put a little squirt of the mist in there. Oh, I love that mist. Oh, yeah, the mist is nice. That's the minerals. Okay, yep, perfect. so a couple squirt of the biomimetic mineral mist with the omega and the retinol. And, and then if you go twice a week, you'll have that omega-6 healing cream to kind of calm things down. Yes, perfect. I'm using that right now as an eye cream. Are you really? The omega-6 yes. healing cream? 
Nice. Yes, I have these little crow's feet and stuff. That no, I that's great. That's, that's, that's great. Yeah. It's very, it's incredibly soothing and moisturizing. I had heard... lots of sun here, so. <laughs> All right. So what's going on? How can we help you? Thanks for the commercial okay. too, by the way. I appreciate that. Thank you. All right. Okay. In May of 2017, after having yes. some body issues, I was diagnosed with diffuse B cell lymphoma. Okay. How old are um, you? 54. Okay. I had a, after primary care, doctor told me, no, try this, try this, try this. I went to the gastro, and he pinpointed it. Within probably two days, I was, you know, sitting there with a chemo needle in my arm. Um, I still have the port in. And I kind of looked at my doctor and was like, no, 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 no. That's got to be a false positive. That can't happen to me. I don't have any genetic markers for that. Not, you know, mom, not dad, not grandparents. I don't smoke. I try to eat healthy. I don't drink too much. I exercise. What is it? And he was like, man, bad luck. I'm like, yeah, no, 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 no. no. I don't believe no, in that. <laughs> There's you... something. And since then, I have gotten rid of, say, you know, chemicals in health and beauty products, mm. and some of the truth treatment stuff. <laughs> mm. I am, um, but I, I'm looking for an answer. And listen. Okay, here's the deal. Here's the deal, real quick. And I got now. I got everybody calling, so I got to go quickly. Uh, okay. Here's the deal. Lymphoma is a cancer of the lymph cells, obviously. It's a cancer right. of the of immune cells. Your lymph cells are immune cells. Yep. Cancer is caused by cell by uh, by cells that are in distress that are working super duper hard. So that when you have lymphoma, that means your immune system has been working really hard. It's fighting, it's been fighting something for a while, especially at the age of 54. So again, it comes, boils down to what's getting into the body that the putting a stressor on the body. So it's gotta be food. Absolutely. It's gotta be food. And then you wanna strengthen the body. So you're on the right track, watch the foods, be extremely careful about what gets into your blood. Remember food gets in, food becomes your blood. It doesn't just get into your blood. It turns into your blood. Your blood is your food. They're the same. Right, I pretty much so eat all of the sugar. Like you're on the, the that's exactly what you want to be doing. And then you want to be doing a, a, a powerful a nutritional supplement program. And I'll, I'll tell you what that is when we come back from our break. It's really okay. simple. And then there's other strategies too, but we'll talk about that when we come back from the break. Okay, thank Thanks you. Tina. Appreciate it. I'm pharmacist Ben. You're listening to the bright side and we will return with with more good health information right after this. All right, we're back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben, and we're talking to Tina in Louisiana. You there, Tina? Yes, I am. Thank you. Okay, so lymphoma, and with all cancer, really, your job is to make the body stronger. That's your only goal, is you want to be stronger. Forget the markers, forget what they tell you, the diagnostics, the blood, the blood tests, all that stuff. You just want to be strong. Who cares what your numbers are, what your diagnosis is, if you feel great, or if you feel crappy. If you have a great diagnosis, oh, you're perfectly healthy, but you feel crappy, who cares? Mm. Who cares what the diagnosis is? It's how we feel. So your job is to feel great. All right. Yeah. So first of all, in order to do that, you're going to want to uh, stay away. From, and you're already doing that. Stay away from any mm -hmm. foods that, me that mess up your lymph or that mess up okay. the bloodstream. The toxic foods, for problematic foods. You're great on that. You also support digestive health with probiotics and fermented foods. The less foods you eat, the better off you are. Food is work. Food represents stress on the body. You want to eat when you're hungry and then stop when you're not. As, as silly as that sounds as a recommendation, most of us don't do that, including myself. So it's really important for somebody who has cancer to calm the body down. Cancer is a hyperactive state. Food, is, food stimulates things, makes the body work. You want to calm the body down. So you do that with high micronutrients, low calories. That's why a supplement program is so good. Even IV nutrition would be great for you. The lymph is also the organ of toxic or the, the circulatory system for toxicity. So any kind of, uh, like you were saying, you, uh, cosmetics with preservatives and any interaction with poison is going to affect your lymph. You stay away from that as best as possible. Get some sun. Um, make sure that you're uh, doing things like bone soup, highly concentrated soups and vegetable juices, highly concentrated nutrients, uh, electro anything you could do to support electrolytes, the veggie juices and the beyond. Tangy tangerine are great for electrolytes. And then uh, I think I said IV nutrition. If you could do IV nutrition, that would also be great. Uh, last but not least, move your body around to help uh, get that lymph going. I got to motivate here, Tina. I hope I helped you out. Thank you for your call. Yes, you absolutely and thanks for did. the kind Thank words. You. So much. Good, good luck with everything. All right, let's go to Rob, Bob in Minnesota. 
and say good morning. Welcome to the Bright Side. What's up, Bob? Hey there, Ben. Hey, hey. in light of your uh, airy fairy um, concepts, I'd just like to ask you, get your perspective yeah. on, on, on a concept. Are you being um, facetious, or do you really, are you finding no, no. an airy fairy? I, I want to get your perspective on, and, you know, if there's something that actually is the studies out there or not, I don't know, but, um, you know, as far as, uh, I'm, I'm thinking from a standpoint of, what about sensory quantum effect on the body? In other words, when you take a, a supplement, the body senses it before it even distributes it. Oh, that's so true. That's totally true. Do you so, ever... And I ask this question from a perspective of, you know, a person could maybe literally reduce their dose because it's more Yeah, you can use that. Effect. Absolutely. 100%. And you know, that involves awareness of what you're doing. The more aware you are of what you're doing, the more you're paying attention to your sensations, the more uh, quantum coherency there is, the more coherent your energy. Does that make sense? Yep. Awareness is like an amplifier. So when you're aware of a raisin, when you eat a raisin, the flavors of that raisin explode in your mouth. Whereas if you swallow a raisin, you don't get that. So that's why meditation is so important, by the way, because when you meditate, you place attention and awareness on something. God is great. The body is good, too. Lots of things, whatever, your cat or your kid, whatever you want to place your attention on. And you amplify things. You amplify the energy of whatever you're paying attention to. The, you, you, pay, you, you notice more details. You become more sensitive. So absolutely paying attention, is, which is what you're talking about, paying attention well, to your okay, sensations. But- and if I, I could reduce my vitamin B Dose. intake. Yeah, yeah. If I'm yeah. paying attention and, uh, yeah. and get the same benefit. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Theoretically, I've never seen a, ta- like you say, i never seen a study that says that, but understanding attention and awareness the way I do, and we know it does that with a raisin in your mouth, or it does it with any experience. The more you pay attention to an experience, the slower that experience is. If you're lifting weights, I, I did this myself, and I'm doing curls sometimes, or when I'm lifting a weight and I'm looking at a clock, you know, I notice the more I pay attention to my muscles as I'm lifting weights, the longer the time takes, which is why when you're working out, you want to work out real slowly and pay attention to each micro movement Check that, that's, which is basically what you're saying. When you pay attention to each micro movement of a curl, for example, do you lift weights by any chance or do any physical exercise? I had at one point. Okay, so when you know how you're doing curls, right? If you do curls fast and you do them f- focusing on them, you get a different kind of response, so much so that focusing on each micro movement slowly and paying attention, you get a much better workout. And if you're watching the clock, it'll seem like a second takes two seconds or three seconds. The second hand literally the moves slower when you pay attention. Go ahead. And that's the same for fatty uh, vitamins and... Yes, you know, absolutely. The, the it's the same family. for everything. It's, it's just, okay. I, like you say, though, I, I'm only extrapolating from what I know is true. Because I've never seen yep. a study that talks about paying attention to your su- supplements. You know what I'm saying? I've never seen that done, proven out. But understanding chemistry and, and quantum and, and awareness and the nature of consciousness and awareness, that makes perfect sense to me. All okay. right. But good. That's good. I'm glad you brought that up. That's a very interesting point. Thanks for your call, Bob. Appreciate it. Uh, and let's go on to Ron in Minnesota. I love my smart listeners. That's awesome. I love the way you guys think. Ron in Minnesota. What's up? Good morning. What's going, Ben? Great program. Hey. Enjoy it daily. Yeah, uh, I have happen. a question. You're okay. cutting out a little bit there, Ron, my friend. Ron? Okay, um, how about now? Right now? A, a little bit better. What's going on? Okay. I like to try to use maca root. I get organic maca root and it, some whole foods, and it, it um, helps for its energy, and I think with strength. But on the back of it, it says it may cause health defects, and I'm wondering. Oh, uh, they have to put that on there. With, they have, what are you doing? What kind of maca? Is it a tincture or a powder or a formula? Powder. What are you doing with maca? Powder. Powder. I just put it in a glass of like water, juice, and then... It tastes pretty it. bad, doesn't it? Yeah, it kind of tastes like dirt. So It's kind of like <laughs> dirt, right, like exactly. It's yeah, it's a root. It's in the dirt. It grows in the dirt. It's a root, and all roots are loaded with nutrition. All roots are. Uh, carrots are roots. Potatoes are roots. You know, tubers are roots. Maca's a root. It's called maca root. Um... It's got some, there's some interesting stuff about maca. It's not going to change your life or anything. They use it for male things like sexuality and fertility and endurance, that sort of stuff. Uh, have you noticed anything? Yeah, I, I get I'm, I'm stronger. I, yeah, you I notice that. Okay. Energy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's I'm basically what it is. It's kind of like a, it's an adaptogen. It makes you better. It makes you better at life. It's an antioxidant. 
Um, it's, it's got a lot of interesting properties. I personally have never seen people change their life with maca, but if you notice that you get, uh, you get good results from it, that's great. Did you want to ask me something? Yeah, what's the best? I do have products that would help. Um, oh, oh, longevity, you mean? Or, There's probably some maca. You know, I don't know. If, I don't know the answer to that question. Actually, I would guess that there were, It's a very popular uh, herb or plant. I guess you'd say. Uh, so I would guess that there was probably some some products that have maca in it. I can't tell you which ones though. I don't know the answer to that. So, uh, but eat your broccoli too. You know, maca is a cruciferous technically. Right. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> what's that? I just had some like ten minutes ago. Oh, broccoli yeah. perfect yeah all right yeah. thanks for your call ron appreciate it and i hope i helped you out let's go to tony in california is this is my buddy my santa cruz buddy tony yeah what's up tony can you hear me i hear you yes, what's going I'm on bro just, I'm, I'm starting to get afraid of gluten because i you know i had issues of not progressing as fast as i want well, you don't want to be afraid up. fear is not appropriate you want to be understanding okay. and you want to be judicious well, and you know, you be i'm letting two people use my kitchen who use gluten uh, well, you don't need people. to freak out about gluten i don't think unless you're symptomatic okay. but you do you you, you look no, better I'm than not, any 85 year old has a I'm, right to look i'm feeling great how old are you now tony issues at all how old how old are you I'm uh, I'm actually 83 and a half. I'll be 84. 83 and a half. You look better than any 83 and a half year old I've ever seen. <laughs> well, All right, I want to get one more call in, that. my friend. Thanks for your call. Appreciate it. Carl, the truth raider, you get the last word. What's up, my friend? What's All up, right, buddy? Benjamin. We hey. know that we know that our reality is real, and we know we're not living in a simulation. We do. We wait, a wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't presume anything. I don't know that. Do you? How do you know that? A pain. Pain. Pain could be a simulation. Well, so what? Pain could be. It could all be a simulation. I'm not. I'm we personally going tomorrow. on the simulation thing. It makes more sense to me. If our friends and our, and our loved ones die, and we can't yeah. bring them back, we can't reverse anything. So it, why is, it's well, why does that say it's not a simulation then? The, 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 the experience of that. The, everything we cannot go back. We can't rehash it. Yeah, can't you, you're it. not buying. I'm not buying it. It could easily be a simulation. What's your point, though? What's your point, Carl? I think it's real. I, I think our, our reality is real. You're just a simulated. Simulation. You're just a sim saying you're real. That's all you are. You're just a sim. Yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. Well, you. You know. I don't know. I'm just saying. I don't know how you know these things. Anyway, Carl, I got to go. Thank you for your call. Appreciate it. And I love my smart Brightside listeners. Thank you, everybody, for listening to The Bright Side. Please check out our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com for the longevity products. And also click on the Join the Team link and start a longevity business. That will help me and my mission to educate the world about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. And don't forget to check out Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. Thanks for listening to the bright side. Bye for now.